<coughs> Today we're going to be doing a thrift with Matt. If you haven't seen the other thrift with Mess, go ahead and do that. Ooh, this is a root beer. I'm always chugging on my root beer. I inspired Alexis Nyers inspired my eyeshadow. I did a little TikTok on it, and this outfit's the cutest thing ever. You can't really see my jacket, but it's BCDG Max Max Azria, which is their best era. I don't know if it's still Max Azria. I think it's just BCBG. Like now, they don't make Max Azria anymore. Reporting live from my brother's old iPhone 4 that he got in 2010. Today we're doing a thrift with me. And right now, I'm really sad because I found these love pink. Uh, fold down, fold over leggings, and they're just not my size. What did we just find? A BCBG Max Azria jacket that is... Speak really loud. I'm speechless. Look how much better that is. Wow. You can really see my skin texture now. <laughs> I feel like such a Barbie girl with my Victoria's Secret pink with the jacket. Pink, 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 pink. So enough lollygagging. Let's go inside. This is the Goodwill that I used to go to a lot. I haven't been to it in a while. But yeah, let's head inside. It's actually raining. So I'm gonna be I'm gonna be utilizing this umbrella, as Rihanna said. I'm gonna get under it. <laughs> and <clears throat> It's actually really sad because I was going to wear these boots that look a lot like the Demonia camels. <laughs> Is it camel? We don't know. But they would look so cute with my fur vest. But they hurt the frig out of my big toes. Instead of wearing those boots, I'm just going to wear my Uggs, which is a little toned down. You know, I slutted up in every other category. So it's okay if I tone it down because have you ever thought, what if I look so good that it's someone's last straw? Like what if they were having a really bad day and then they see me obviously outdoing them and it's, and it's their last straw? They unalive themselves. That for me being just so gorgeous and perfect, something that they could never be. Some say conceited, but I'm just being realistic. Like Addison Ray said, I'm obsessed, obsessed with me as much as you. Honestly, I'm so pissed Addison Rae never did those other singles. Like, she actually was supposed to do a Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga? Well, Lady Gaga had an old song that she never put out. And Addison Rae did a little, um, her version of it. And it was so good. She should have released it. Biggest, biggest flop. If I bet, I bet she better do that. This is $2.99. It's a... High School Musical 2, little photo thing. Looks like that. I'm not gonna get it, but $2.99 is not that bad. Usually their stuff is way overpriced. So I've been in here for two minutes, and I think I saw painting Peyton Manning, and I saw someone's butt crack in two minutes. I actually forgot to record the rest of that day and I'm kind of stopped up in all of this footage so my voice is giving British man but it's okay um continue for the next day hi I'm Jade Naomi and today we're gonna be going thrift shopping but we have to stop at McDonald's or something because I need like a fizzy beverage or I'm gonna barf hmm <laughs> um what was the name of the place treasure Treasure trove, treasure something. Are you kidding me? It's a thrift store. Here's what I found. It's not coming up. It was called fucking A. <gasps> Don't why, curse. Why aren't You're on the... recording. <gasps> Stop cursing. <laughs> 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 uh, I'm just in that mood today. I'm not usually like that. We're getting McDonald's. Are we? Yes, we are. What, what is your order? I'm getting a double cheeseburger with cheese and mac sauce only. We get mac sauce. And the guy... Don't pass it on because they might run out of mac sauce. Yeah. And the guy at the cashier that told us the price 
He told us it was a thousand. Mm. Those fries are so good. I'm gonna eat some. <laughs> Damn. Holy dude. I can't believe this. Hold the straw. Let me cover my juicy bag. Gosh. Yeah, please do. It's just. I think that'll work. That was, a, that was crazy. Thank you. You know Cardi B? The girl that talked about her with us. You know that song with us? P word? <laughs> How do you feel about it? Um, why did I have to put it on that cut? You don't like Cardi B? <laughs> We are here at the thrift and there's the cutest little sign up there. The sign says your husband called and he said buy anything you want. So are you gonna follow what the sign says? Yeah. I've looked over like everything in this little rinky dink store and there's nothing. She found a pair of jeans and Do you like these American Oh, they turned off the lights. They've just turned the lights off, so I don't know if we have much time to try stuff on. <laughs> I did find a Victoria's Secret bag that matches my nails. Spot the difference. You can't. See, look. This is so Lana Del Rey vinyl. Huh? Oh my gosh, they have Fanta. I know. And, <coughs> and look, you can pop it right here. It is so Lana Del Rey. It's so Lana Del Rey. Look at it. Fizzed or steamed or whatever. <laughs> it wasn't steam. She made coffee <laughs> and she has a coke. Like look at these stickers. These are so Lana Del Rey or whatever they are. <gasps> these are for Valentine's Day. They're kind of Melanie Martinez too. If you know, you know. This is the juicy bag I brought today. There's some Gucci. I think this Louis is fake. I, I don't know if it's off it's it's authentic, so <gasps> I love those Chanel earrings. Hi, I'm Jane Naomi and today we're gonna be doing a thrift haul of all the Y2K stuff in this bag. Haul videos are some of my favorite kind of videos. Um, especially a uh, Pink Sparkles haul or a Trisha Paytas haul. So hopefully a Jade Naomi haul will live up to those hauls. But um, yeah, without further ado, let's hop into all this stuff. I have Juicy, Miss Me, Affliction, a lot of good brands. So let's get into it. And if you're wondering, why didn't she do a thrift with me while she was getting this stuff? And the reason is because I hadn't seen my friend in a long time whenever I was thrifting. I, I wanted to hear all the hot gossip. And you know me, I always get up late. So when I go to the thrift store, it's late. Sometimes I don't have enough time to pull out my camera and film in there. I have to worry about getting the clothes. You know what I mean? But starting off strong, there's this old navy skirt, which you guys have already seen me wear. And it came with this belt already on it. So I didn't even have to pay for this belt. Which is a pretty good deal. One of the rhinestones popped off in the dressing room, but I have it in my purse. It fell out on the floor and I napped it. I was like, ooh, I picked it up with my duck feet nails. I thought this old navy skirt was very cute. And it kind of looked a little bigger because I put on like 10 pounds, I think. So um, my other skirt is like begging for help. <laughs> and this one's just a little bit bigger, so I have a little more room. I can be comfortable. If I'm in jeans or a skirt that's too tiny, I'm uncomfortable. And the belt is snakeskin. 
which you guys may not know, but snakeskin is actually my least favorite animal print. I'm not a snakeskin person. The devil was a snake. It's just like snake print. They're all slithery and gross. It's kind of like a spider, which I mean, I kind of like spiders for Halloween, but like random things. There's a hat from Hollister or Abercrombie and Fitch. I have no clue. Who's the moose? One of them is a moose. <laughs> And I don't know which one. Abercrombie and Fitch. Let's see. I may have already hauled this. And it's not even going to snow. I would actually maybe like it more if it didn't have the pom-pom. Maybe the pom-pom. I don't know. Actually, it's very cutesy. And then there's this. There's a vision for... It's just a cream tank top that's lace. Great for layering for so many things. Next thing. I keep saying next thing, like we know is the next thing. There's Miss Me jeans and they have sequins. Miss Me jeans are so cute. I'm glad everybody likes them. I used to clown on my mom for wearing these until I got into 2000 stuff. And now I still have stuff. And now I'm like, wow, my jeans. <laughs> I used to be like, oh my god, mom, not those jeans. Especially she has Rock Revival studded ones that I used to clown her for, but now they're the cutest jeans ever. They're bedazzled out. And I used to be like, mom, why are you wearing bedazzled jeans? But now I'm like in the bedazzled jeans with her. I'm pretty sure this was mentioned in my last thrifting haul video. Let me know in the comments down below if I'm just story and forgetful. I found another one of these and there's actually probably footage of me finding it and I don't know if this is going to be a thrift with me or just a haul video but I found another one of these hats and if I would recommend any Santa hat ever it's this Victoria's Secret one because it's big if you have a big head get this Victoria's Secret hat it won't hurt every time I wear a Santa hat the the elastic is just not big enough for my big ol' head. Cause I'm like, a bobblehead. Yeah, it's pink and hot pink and rhinestone out. What more do you need? And Trisha Paytas actually has this hat. So I have two of them. And I don't know if I mentioned it, but we already have the matching little skirt. And I would've wore this on my Instagram, but it gave OF model. <laughs> and it's just like, why do you need to be that sexy? This right here is for a child. It has rhinestones. This obviously is not going to fit me, but I love the little buttons and the heart and the Hello Kitty right there. But I'm just going to take this and make it into a headband. Do we see it? It's peace sign and Hello Kitty. And it's completely me. This could have been a toddler's favorite outfit, but I took it to make a headband. Sorry. There's two Victoria's Secret shirts. Just two. This one that just says pink. And it matches one of my juicy bottoms. Like the color down here. It's like a mauve. Ugh, I just put it in my mouth. I should tell you the prices. I think this is like four dollars or three dollars. The Hello Kitty baby outfit was three ninety nine. The Miss Me jeans are probably six ninety nine. $4.99. This was $2.99. I think I got this at the Google Bins. And then this was $4.99 with the matching belt. Comprende? I got another Victoria's Secret thing. And this one's just blinged out. It has rhinestones all over it. And it says pink. This pink logo kind of reminds me of 2016. But I just got it anyway because the rhinestones. And it's very see-through. If you can see. I don't know if you can. It's not that see-through. I over-exaggerate. This is the last Victoria's Secret thing that I got. And this was not overpriced. This is from... I'm not going to say exactly where it's from. This was $12. I figured that's what it'd be online. It just says love pink with a heart. In the O. And I thought it was a cute pullover. It's from my favorite Victoria's Secret era. Other than 
well, maybe not my favorite, but one of my favorite Victoria's Secret eras. This tank top, ooh, this stuff's fine. <laughs> and I can't believe that Love Pink was $12.99. Kind of a ripoff, but Victoria's Secret to me is like, gotta collect them all. Kind of like Juicy Couture. It's not about whether enough. It's not about whether I'm going to wear it every day. It's about whether or not it's going to make me happy. And that sure as hell makes me happy. So I was like, oh, I'm going to get it. Um, look at this tank top. It has sequins. I'm not a big fan of this color on the base of the tank top. I love the lace detail. I actually love it. This is so Frutiger Arrow. What is that aesthetic? It's like, I don't know how to say it. But it's so cool. That's I never knew how to describe that aesthetic, the Frutiger, Frutiger Arrow or whatever. That's like the Windows XP and the Xbox 360 noises and it's all like green and blue and I don't know. But I've always been that aesthetic mixed with Jersey Shore but in here and I just didn't know how to describe it. Enough with that but it just looks so darn cute and of course that there's hairs all in it. Because it wouldn't be me if there wasn't just hairs everywhere. I filmed this clean with me. Or clean with me. On a uh, TikTok. And there was like hairs all over my room. As I. There was hairs all over my room when I rewatched the video. And I was like that's disgusting. <laughs> like actually disgusting. Um, and this one. This top. I really don't want to show you guys. Because then you're going to go out and buy everything. So I'm not going to show you. I'm going to take. I'm going to take two things out because I have to buy more of the brand before it gets like all, it gets like all bought up. There's two brands, there's two brands that I've been buying a lot of recently and I'm trying to literally purchase everything and then tell you guys about it because it's the cutest stuff ever. I like having my own vibe. And if nobody knows about a brand, and it's just my brand for right now, it makes it feel really cute. So I'm keeping those two secret for a little bit longer. Let me buy a few things, and then I'll show you. The rest of the haul is still equally as good. It's just those, that zebra top. Oh my god. Oh my god. You're gonna die. But this is, I'll show you this. Because this is like, major. This is major. Spring break 2009. <laughs> Panama City Beach, which Panama City Beach is kind of like generic as f Everybody goes to Panama. I've been to Panama. I've been to two places and I've been to Panama. But that's what kind of makes it fun. It's everybody's been to Panama, so it's kind of like a group project. It's so Spring Breakers, but it wasn't in 2009. That was like 2010 or something. This shirt is so cute and it was such a find. I'll go ahead and show you the Juicy Couture thing that I found, because why not? It's a Juicy Couture swim. There's only one other thing in this bag, and it's a, like, vintage Urban Outfitters top that kind of, you could layer on things. Like, imagine this with a lace cami and then a denim mini skirt. I'll show this right before I get up and find those juicy. I have another juicy pullover or two more, but these are just the ones that I'll show you because they're close to the same color. But I already have this one and the matching jacket. It's very cute. But this one is more of a warm pink. I wanted to show I have different colors, and then this one's my favorite, because it's velour. This is velour, the one that I bought at Play-Doh's Closet. This was $10, that the tag looks like. It's a small, and it could be a halter, or you could tie it in a bow, if you want it to just be like a tube, tube top, which is cute. I love it when you tie them in a bow, like, whatever you think. And it had no imperfections. It's pink and green. What more could you ask for? And it's a small, like I mentioned. The pullovers with the jawstring, I've noticed, run very big. This one is a small, and I have a petite that's actually big on me, which is crazy, because that's insane. These 
ones that are just stretchy always fit really good, but the ones with the drawstring, I swear, they do run big. This was in my bag, but I don't know whose scarf this is. This is so funeral. Pretty Little Liars funeral. <laughs> the lace scarf. Actually, there's two purses to show off. Both from Goodwill. Both sequin. This is a tiny gold sequin bag that I got for $5.99. $5.99. Kind of smells like granny. I'm just being for real. Like, uh, this looks like something my aunt would have wore. Or still, she still wears stuff like this. Imagine for the club, just for your phone, your digital camera, maybe some gum, some lip gloss, and your credit card. Or just your phone, because you use Apple Pay. And then this one is very mermaid. The sequins are more of an iridescent instead of a regular sequin. I liked the gold one a little bit more, but I had to get them both because what if there was an outfit that just called for this? This is so aquamarine. And I have a blue little charm that I could put on it. I found this polka dot bag from Victoria's Secret. And also this Heart cheetah. I always find bags at the thrift store and I get them for gifting or for photo shoots because I, I love doing photo shoots to where there's bags in the background like it looked like I went shopping but it matches my nails. This was actually the ends though. <laughs> I forgot to mention that I did get those Chanel earrings. I just must have misplaced them somehow already in the two seconds that I've got them. But if you zoom in, these are the earrings that I got, the white Chanelies. The last thing in the haul was Affliction. And this is Sinful by Affliction. I found this in the kids section. The back's the cutest part. It fits me like a glove too. It's so sinful. It's a very thick. You can hear it. The only flaw is it lost whatever was on the zipper. Very, very cute. It has a heart and a dagger and it says sinful. It looks amazing. Hopefully, hopefully you'll see that on my TikTok because I'm going to wear it for sure. I've been waiting to wear most of this stuff because I wanted to show you guys. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Sorry for my hiatus. I will always be back to um, keep alive the McBling YouTube community because it, <laughs> it's very important to me that all us pink loving Juicy Couture and Hardy wearing girls stick together because you know we're few and far between these days. But, uh, I will see you guys on the flip side. Kisses to my bitches. Adios. Actually, we've changed it. It's kiss, kiss, hug, hug to the girls that I really love because we are now in a PG rating. Thank you. Bye.